Well, Marigel, what are we doing? You love the new van, huh? You wanna go in the you wanna go in the house? Should we go in the house? You wanna go in the house? Okay. If you're all done, you can go in. You ready to go in the house, man? Alright, we're gonna close the door. There's another door somewhere. There's gotta be another way in. But Roger, what's going on? What's going on? Do we just love to sit in the car? Is this where we wanna be? You wanna hop up here? Come here. You can come here. Here, let's bring this thing forward, right? Scoot. Are you wanna come up here? Come on. Come on, one, two, three up. Hi. Rigel, if you had your way, you would just sit here all day, every day, wouldn't you? This is your favorite place in the whole house, being in the car. This car. Not mommy's car. Mommy's car is dumb. This car. What do you think? It's a hell of a view. You seem very focused on it. Yeah. It's pretty great. All right, man. Let's see. I forget how this thing works. We're still figuring the car out. There's a button somewhere. Oh, here. Let's see. Oh, that's right. I turned off the lock back there so that the kids can't shoot the child. We're playing around with it. It's good to know. And only the commander can control the door. That's a little scary. You know what else is a little scary for a Rigel? Rigel, come here. Come here. Poor Rigel. Right, I'm going to put you in. I'm going to lock you in, okay? Let's see what's really scary for a Rigel. What? What's going on in here? What's going on? Well, Rigel, we better shut this off. Oh, they won't let me shut the car off. Hang on, I gotta go over to the other side. It's tight over here. Scoot, you gotta let me get in. You've gotta let me get in. Okay. You did that one, man. All right. Let's see, Dad was asking about this thing. So, it has this little guy, Dad. And this has this little plastic end on it. Which is the same little plastic end that the key has. So, if you want, you can just put this guy in. Just put it there, and then the keys don't dangle. Rigel's clearly in my way. And if you push the button, it doesn't work. But if you have your foot on the brake then you can start the car with the button. But, this guy has to be in the car. Right, man? Roger, what do you think? Also, it has a little spy on the kid's mirror. It's got the DVD player down there. You can plug in Xboxes and stuff. What do you think? All right, Roger, should we go in? Should we go in the house? Right here, I'm gonna open the door for you. Let's go in the house. Rigel, should we go in the house? Should we go? Alright, let's go. Alright, bye. Bye. Oh, oh, no, no. We're not ready to go in yet. We're just gonna, st we're gonna stay here. Alright, come on, man. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go. 
I'm going to get out, and then you get out. We have to put the tennis ball in. So, we haven't aimed this thing yet, but... All right, man. All right, Roger, come on. Let's go inside. Come on. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on. Wait a minute. He doesn't want to go in. He wants to stay in the van. Rigel. All right, man, come on. All right, let's go in. Come on, let's go. Come on. Rigel, let's go inside. Come on. All right, let's go. All right, all done. Okay. All right, Rigel. It's all locked up. If we don't let him back in the van, he sits and cries. All right, man, come on, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Come here, man. Come here. Roger, come here. I'm going to shut the door on you. All right, bye. Have a good night in the garage, Rigel. Rigel. Hey, Rigel. Come here, man. Rigel. There he is. Can't see him, I'm sure. Come on, man. Let's come inside. Come on, ready? All right, bye. All right, bye. All right. Rigel, do you want to come inside? Do you want to come inside for a treat? Rigel, you want to come inside for a squeaky toy? You want to come inside for a baseball? No? You just want to be close to the van. Just want to be close to the van. Is that where you want to be? You just want to go in the van. We're not going anywhere. Rigel. Rigel, what are we to do with you? Rigel. It says, can we go on a camping trip in the van, Dad? He doesn't want to go anywhere. He just wants to be in the van. All right, man. Let's go inside. Come on. Don't you think we should go inside? All right, yeah. Uh-oh. It has a stop, so if it feels a nudge, it'll stop. But we've developed the bad habit of trying to race the door. Let's see, can we see him in here? All right, guy, come on, let's come out. All right, man. All right, Roger, let's see what we can lure you out with. All right, man. How about a meatball? How about a meatball? What's this? Are you going to be the first person to eat in the new car? Come here. Let's have a meatball. Come here. Come here, Rigel. This is a meatball. Rigel, look. Here. There's the meatball. Rigel. Look at this. What's this? This is a meatball. It's right here, man. All right, we'll sweeten the pot. If he decides to go for it, I'm ready. We only went out in the garage to get some screws because I'm trying to put together my office and I have to mount my little power strip to the wall. So, 
just going out to get a screw. And then all of a sudden we have to deal with all this. Alright. Look, Rigel, what's this? This is a peanut butter snack. See that? Alright. Here, Rigel. Here you go. Two snacks. Hmm. Nope, I'm gonna stay in the van. Alright, Rachel, I'm gonna put both of these snacks in the house. And you're just gonna have to be stuck out here. God, if the lights turn off, it's almost easier to just leave them out there. <laughs> but the battery will die, I think. Gotta go inside, man. Is this not the saddest face you've ever seen? So sad. Alright, Roger, come on, let's go inside. Alright, good boy. Come on. Good boy. Come here, let's what's right here? Roger, oh, oh thought I could close the door on him. He's faster than me. Alright, come on man, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, let's go in the house. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh now we're gonna drive. We've already learned how to beep the horn. That's fun. Well, this has been life with the minivan. It's his favorite thing in the world, and he doesn't want to be anywhere else. And it takes an act of sheer willpower and force, usually involving kicking and screaming, to get him to come out of his favorite place. If he could live in here, I think he would. So, bye.